Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So yesterday I posted a video that Google had removed the possibility to disable Chrome's UI refresh, which was the visual layout material U changes and redesign changes that Google was pushing out uh, to the Chrome web browser throughout the course of last year. Now that playlist for the whole UI refresh will be in the end screen. Once again, there's plenty of content I have posted if you want more info. Now, just to let you know that, first of all, I must just say that I was wrong and it is still possible to disable Chrome's UI Refresh 2023 design changes. And I noticed a comment earlier today on the channel by a viewer of this channel called Love HM 2014, where um, it was mentioned that it is still possible to disable the UI Refresh in the stable version of Google Chrome and that Google hadn't removed all the possibilities. Now, I must just be honest, though, that Google is making it harder and harder to uh, disable the Chrome UI refresh. So I would suggest that um, maybe throughout the course of this year that they will totally remove uh, the experimental flags or the options in those flags to be able to disable the UI refresh completely. But nonetheless, as of today, the 21st of March, um, these flags are still available and it is still possible. If you want to disable the uh, material U uh, visual redesign changes in Chrome, it's still possible to do. So once again, to do this, we head to our Omnibox and we enter Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. Now, first of all, um, there's only three flags uh, we need to disable. And one or two of these must probably don't have to be disabled, but our just suggest disabling all three just to be on the safe side if you want to disable the visual redesign changes. So first of all, we're gonna for the first two flags, we're just gonna enter refresh into the search. And the first flag obviously to disable would be the actual Chrome refresh 2023 flag. So we're gonna disable that. And then the next one we're gonna disable is Chrome Web UI. Uh, I just want to find that quickly. It's part of the refresh. There we go. So it's just below. So we disable that. And then what we have to do is then relaunch the browser for those first two flags. But you'll still see that nothing has changed. It still has the uh, Chrome refresh. But the third flag you have to disable is Customize Chrome Side Panel. So for this, we just type in Side panel and here we go if we just scroll down a little bit further you'll see customize chrome site panel now we have to disable that flag and for some strange reason disabling that flag um, removes the material you chrome you are refresh for 2023 and we relaunch the browser and you'll see straight away after relaunching that uh, things are looking a lot more to the original design First of all, my toolbar buttons have been removed. The old extensions um, button is back. The old side uh, panel button is back. The menu has gone back to its smaller, original, kind of older look, for want of a better word. The iconography next to the menu, main menu listings has been removed. We can see the navigation buttons are back to the old look. So you get the general idea. So those are the three flags you have to disable. And as I mentioned, I was wrong um, in that video. Um, there is a way to remove it, as mentioned, pointed out to me by a viewer of this channel. So the three flags are Chrome Refresh 2023, disable it. Chrome Web UI Refresh, disable it. And Customize Chrome Site Panel, disable it. And obviously that removes the UI Refresh 2023 look. And as mentioned, as of today, this is still available and but as i mentioned quite frequently on this channel flags are not options they are experiments so they can be removed at any time and obviously if you want to put everything back to how uh, it should be um you just go to those three flags and you put them back to defaults relaunch and there we go you can see everything is back to normal the buttons have the new um Chrome UI refresh material U changes. The extensions button is back to normal. Navigation buttons. Menu is all back. You get the idea. And I'm always thankful when I 
get constructive feedback on the channel where viewers actually give me little tips and tweaks that I don't always spot. So I'm always grateful and I'm glad I could actually correct this and then just put it out there to let you know if you are affected by the UR refresh and don't actually enjoy the new um, visual redesign changes to Google Chrome. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.